Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are back in Planet Zoo once again for another episode in our Ranger Park Zoo series. I am Mixnazzy as always and today we are going to do something fun. The Australia pack is officially out as of Tuesday of this week. I believe this video will come out on Friday and uh, so a few days after it came out but not too late to the party here but we're gonna use some of the Australia stuff today we're gonna do some of the new animals and we're gonna make a little sort of uh, outback odyssey is what I end up calling it so that's what we're gonna do in this episode but uh welcome back to the channel thank you everyone for tuning in uh this is episode 13 of the ranger park zoo series if you have missed any episodes or haven't seen any at all you can check them out in the playlist in the top right corner right now there's a uh, list of all the episodes in order so you can start from the very beginning or see any episodes you miss so you can watch the zoo get built from the ground up now we start off these videos with a little bit of time lapse. It is, if that is not your thing, you can go look in the description below. There is a timestamp that goes straight to the real time walkthrough that we do in first person of the finished product of this build, where you can see what we get in the end if you don't want to see all the time lapse and how it's built and everything. So now that we are in the actual time lapse section of the video, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing today. We're going to do an Outback Odyssey, uh, quote unquote. I like the little alliteration there, so I went for that style instead of, uh, I was thinking about either Australian Adventure or Outback Odyssey. I thought Outback Odyssey was a little more cool, a little more unique, so we're going to end up going with that. But there's going to be kangaroos and koalas in this exhibit, and uh, initially I wanted to go for a sort of guests walkthrough exhibit, you know, you can do a little bit of that in Planet Zoo with the peacocks and uh, the tortoises and stuff like that. They have little walkthroughs. Even the, the monkeys and the lemurs I believe you can do that kind of stuff with. But at my local zoo they have a walkthrough for the kangaroos so I kind of wanted to do that here. wanted to have a little kangaroo walkthrough and uh, I ended up putting the koalas in anyway even though initially it was just going to be a kangaroo habitat because they do get enriched by each other and the habitat was big enough already because I made it pretty big um, initially. But yeah, so that's pretty much all we're going to do today. Nothing too crazy, but it does add a lot to the Ranger Park Zoo. But mostly, I just wanted to play around with the new uh, DLC pack because it, it was pretty exciting and I wanted to see what they had in store. So uh, a little bit of a shorter video today. Not a super huge build, but it is really fun. It looks great in the end. It's immersive and we get to use a lot of the new pieces, which was really exciting. So here we're doing a little bit of the foliage. As you can see through the center of the exhibit, it's just a short little like walkthrough. So you're gonna walk across this bridge right there and that's pretty much it. It's more of like an experience walkthrough instead of just like an exhibit where you kind of like sit on the outside and look in. And that's really what I wanted to go for here. So I think it worked out. Even though we couldn't have the guests go through the exhibit, we could still make it sort of be like that with this sort of bridge as the only look through area you get. And it's kind of like a, I don't want to say amusement park ride, or it, I guess it's more like an Animal Planet sort of, sort of Disney thing, Universal like walkthrough thing, where you kind of like walk through a specific way, and you weave through and you check it out, and then you walk out the exit, blah blah blah, that kind of stuff. That's sort of what I was going for here, but uh, it ends up being you can't enter both ways, but it there's really a way I want you to go and it's sort of kind of how it's supposed to be designed, if I could design it that way, but of course in Planet Zoo there are some limitations. So, But I think it turns out nice. It's a nice little experience that you walk through, and it's kind of just like a little side thing. It's like, hey, learn about Australia, see the animals there, and they're kind of bunched together. Now, I think we will do the other Australian animals as well that came in the pack. I think there's the dingoes and then some sort of birds. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but I think we'll also add them into this area, but they may be in a separate sort of thing. I'm thinking for the dingoes, maybe they might be in the, uh, I'm thinking we might do like a wolf area because we do have arctic wolves, we have timber wolves, now we have these dingoes, and we could do the African wild dogs potentially in like sort of a, a dog area, wolf area, whatever you want to call it, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll think about that a little in the future, so that's just a little update on that, but let's talk about what we're doing on screen. We're going to take out those red rocks that you've been seeing so far because the, they don't really fit the desert Australian rocks, we're not in that biome, we're in the, uh, the temperate biome for like a midwest sort of zoo, so let's just use the rocks that are good for the biome 
And when I was looking at pictures of my local zoo that have a kangaroo exhibit that I've been talking about, they do use a lot of local uh, stones in there. They don't have these like red colored stones. They just use a lot of local stones and a lot of local foliage, uh, green foliage, stuff like that, grass. But they do put a lot of sand down, so kind of make it sort of outbacky. But apparently, kangaroos are pretty, uh, pretty well acclimated to almost every sort of environment um, in terms of like U.S. zoos and stuff like that. Because uh, the U.S. climate isn't that much different than Australia. It's a little warmer at times, but that doesn't really. Uh, do much for the kangaroos because in the outback it does get really cold at night so they're kind of used to both of the sort of elements there maybe not as much of the lush green foliage and the rain and all that but um, i'm not an expert in australian climate or kangaroos in general so i'll just let you guys uh, figure that out for yourselves and maybe research it if you're curious but now we're gonna do sort of a little pergola instead of the initial cave that we were doing i kind of cut out a little bit of that cave footage as well because i wasn't happy with it the red rocks did not look good um a cave in australia Australia didn't feel that right. I mean, I guess there are a lot of caves, maybe rocky. Australia is known for being pretty rocky, but I thought for the zoo feel here, a little pergola sort of awning thing would look a lot better for what we're doing here. And pretty much the rest of it is just putting in a lot of the foliage. It's a lot of green, and I sort of went for this eucalyptus forest where like koalas live, they live in eucalyptus forest. So I went for a little foresty area, and then in the middle of the uh, the habitat there's a little bit of an open area, kind of like the Australian outback where it's kind of like a little deserty and a kind of uh, pretty wide open and not a lot of foliage. So that's sort of the vibe I was going for here, but it, it is a little more lush than sort of an average Australian exhibit because we are in the Midwest and it kind of works out better that way. And I think the a lot of foliage looks a lot better in this game anyway making barren habitats just look bland and boring and they don't really look that well you got to put a little bit of foliage here and there a little bit of rock work to sort of make these habitats look good but overall this is going to be a pretty short video um, a lot of the time lapse I did have recorded, but I did jump all over the place all the time for this build, so it really wasn't that uh, easy to follow. So I kind of cut it a lot, and you'll see a sort of the finished product in the real time walkthrough, of course, but a little less time lapse than usual. And if you guys do like that better, please let me know in the comments below if that's something you're more interested in. A little shorter videos, but a little longer with the real time walkthrough and uh, the glam shots and stuff like that. Just let me know. But for the bridge, we're going to actually do something for it. We're not just going to leave it like that. And we do a little bit more off camera that you'll see just a second in the real time walkthrough. But we're going to use a lot of these Australia pieces. It was fun using the pack because we don't use a lot of theme pieces in the zoo. So it was fun being able to use some theme pieces. Uh, for once so it, it was really fun testing this stuff out so if you guys like the australia pack also let me know down below i think it was a, a really good pack the best one yet and i'm not even that big of an uh, australian animal sort of fan i just think a lot of the pieces that they added are really versatile and can work in a lot of uh different scenarios and they just look good like it they feel like they fit the zoo vibe you can use them for generic buildings because they can work of sort of decoratory sort of pieces so i think that's really a great thing that they did here they also added like pallets and they added sort of this uh plywood sort of board too as well that kind of goes with the Australian theme. I like how they kind of slid that in there but that's more for the realistic builds the backstage stuff and some generic buildings if I if I knew any better yeah that's definitely what it's for it's not really for the outback feel but I appreciate Frontier doing that because that really helps out for us in our sort of realistic builds that we do here but it's also really fun to see a lot of this this cool new stuff but we'll jump into the real time portion here in just a second I hope you guys all enjoyed the time lapse and I'll see you in just a second Alright everyone, we are now in the real time portion of the video here today and we're going to walk through what we did exactly for the uh, Outback Odyssey here, the new Australian pack DLC. Now I'm excited to show you guys the finished product, we've done a little bit more work off camera um, because I just felt like uh, we already had a lot of the time lapse portion, um, a lot of the footage on there already. So here is the entrance to the area, we're right down the street from the bear area and don't look at the bear sign because uh, I haven't shown you guys that yet but I did make it for the next video let's just talk about what we got here for the new Australia DLC pack and all that good stuff so 
The Outback Odyssey, we used a lot of the pieces, a lot of the foliage that come with the uh, the new pack here, and I really like what they did. They added a lot of stuff. A lot of scenery pieces, a lot of uh, new construction pieces that we can use, and I'm, I'm sort of showing a lot of them here. Of course, the font here is Ricey's uh, classical font, We've been or Berlin font, my bad. Uh, we've been using that throughout the park, so... That's, uh, that's going to continue here, but here's some of the Australian benches and just a lot of this stuff like those posts and everything. And these are all great pieces that are pretty versatile, but definitely work really well here. So we'll start getting into the exhibit here. We have some education. Now I did do a little bit of an overhang for this bridge here that you didn't see on the time lapse, but I thought it fit really well. I also changed the path here because the, uh, the other one was a little too bright. I thought this fit well. And here is the exhibit. I kind of wanted to go through a guest walkthrough sort of area initially. I know I said that. That's what I wanted to do. But uh, we had to do the bridge, but I think it works. It's still kind of like a, a walkthrough exhibit where you kind of... Uh, walk through it and then you're kind of out you kind of have a specific entrance and stuff like that sadly these uh i wanted to put education in here because it says we need some more guest education in the zoo and uh these these tvs are huge in here but uh they're gonna have to stay because we need the education but here's some of the kangaroos and we have the kangaroos and the koalas in this habitat of course and they just like to kind of lay down like that in a lot of the places but there's nice wide open areas there's also some wooded areas within this habitat for the koalas because the koalas like living in the eucalyptus forest in australia while the kangaroos sort of like the open areas but they do like a little bit of trees but here's some of the koalas the koalas look really cute they kind of just trot around like that all day and uh, just just have a good time well the kangaroos just kind of sit there and lay like that a lot but yeah, this is pretty much it. It's a pretty small habitat because these animals don't require a ton of space. But I think it's very immersive. You get in here and you're kind of like in the whole Outback vibe. And you're definitely, uh, it's kind of like an experience walkthrough area as opposed to just like a uh, exhibit where you kind of look in through like a little bridge. I think it's more of a walkthrough, which I wanted to go for, even though sadly we couldn't put the guests in the habitat to walk through them, even though in real life uh, I have done that at my local zoo. But yeah, this is pretty much how we ended up with it. I really like how it looks. These trees look great. They are a little big, and they don't really fit the temperate uh, style that we have in the zoo, sort of the biome that we're in. But I think it works because, you know, it is the Australian habitat, so we got to use what they like. And uh, I just think it's a nice little uh, detour from what we've been doing lately. You know, a lot of the bear stuff and a lot of uh, sort of the basic uh, Planet Zoo stuff. This Australia pack is definitely a nice little, uh, nice little detour for a minute or two. Um, to see something else and get some new animals and some new styles to work with and some new pieces Especially this uh, this rusty roof piece um, That we're getting here. I can show you better when we hop out of first person in a second But let's just walk back and this is sort of the exit or other entrance if you want to call it that because you can actually enter from both sides, but just a little bit more of that Australian foliage and just sort of that style using a lot of the pieces they have and it was a lot of fun using a lot of them so that is pretty much it let me hop out of first person here and get an overview of it now we're buttoned right up against the bear walk here um and for the future black bear habitat it's gonna be right here but i think it works just a little side thing we're gonna do probably the rest of the animals the dingoes and then those birds that are in the australia pack as well we might put some other little animals over here, um, like the Chinese pangolin and stuff. But this is just a little outcrop to end, sort of end this part of the zoo because I don't want to go any further because that's the border where I put the sand. So I just want to go this way, do a couple small animals, maybe an eat play, eatery place, some uh, bathrooms and stuff, and then end it here because we still need to take this passenger train all the way around sort of to here probably then loop back so we don't want to go anymore this way we want to stop and that's why I kind of outlined the path like that. Now guests are having a hard time reaching this area so I did have to put in a guest spawner right here kind of out of the way on the other side of this flamingo habitat we made forever ago now but uh just to be aware that that's there if uh, you see just a ton of guests over here because in the last video when we did the grizzly bears there were like no guests now there's a ton 
over in the Grizzly area. But don't look at the work in progress sort of uh, eatery lodge area um, and the sign out front. This is more about the Outback Odyssey this episode, but really happy with how it turned out. Love these like rusty pieces, roof pieces here, corrugated metal that they've added. A lot of versatile pieces that can be used elsewhere, I think, were added in this pack. But yeah, it just looks great. The kangaroos look good, the koalas look good, the environment looks great. Lots of sand. It looks outbacky enough for what uh, you know a zoo in the Midwest United States would be able to do for uh, sort of an Australia area. We're not in the desert biome, the Australia desert biome meta. A lot of people have been playing in since it released, so we gotta do what we can with it, but I think it, it adds a lot to the zoom, and I think it looks great. Just the, the bridge looks good, it's a nice walk through, just a little odyssey, like an experience sort of uh, habitat where you walk through and you enjoy it. Well, I hope you guys liked it, um, I had a lot of fun making it, I hope you're enjoying the new Australia pack as well, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you again for watching the video, I hope you all did enjoy it. This episode 13 was fun to make. If you did enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Ranger Park Zoo.